Hello again, it's Dolev from Visimix. In this video, I will show you how to set up the relevant experiment at the lab scale to develop the process from an engineering point of view. As we've seen in the previous videos, Dr. Mixwell will be with us and assist me with the discussion and explanations. Let's get started! From the video Influence of Mixing in the Process, we're going to determine how to set up the lab equipment. Our purpose is to make relevant lab-scale experiments in order to reproduce and analyze conditions in the production equipment. In this example, we can assume that the reagent feed position and impeller rotation velocity are two parameters that can be varied at the large scale in order to minimize formation of byproduct. We have finished our calculations and we found that the feed position close to the impeller with a high impeller rotation velocity helps to achieve our goal and to get good results. In order to confirm this conclusion, let's perform some evaluations in our lab equipment. We're going to use experiments to evaluate the influence of the reagent inlet feed position and the rotation velocity of the impeller on the purity of the reaction product. Then we will compare the obtained data with the results of calculations. A 2-liter glass reactor is an acceptable equipment choice to evaluate our reaction process. The reactor is loaded with 1.8 liter water and corresponding quantities of potassium iodide, potassium iodate, and potassium acetate. The HCl is dripped into the reactor. The data on initial substances is entered into the Visimix as described in the previous video. In this example, we will get a qualitative response, change of color of mixture along the progress of reaction. Initially, to illustrate the performance of the reaction system, Let's observe the reaction progress without any agitation. It is clear that without agitation, we observed a vast generation of the byproduct iodine, the red color, near the feed position, and throughout the reaction mixture. When the hydrochloric acid is fed to the upper part of the media and the impeller rotation velocity is low, we also observe the red color throughout the mixture and close to the feed position. We see a plum of the byproduct, iodine, generated close to the exit of the feed tube. Simultaneously, we can simulate formation of the byproduct using Visimix. When the fit position of the hydrochloric acid is close to the impeller, the iodine plum is not perceptible and the color of the reaction mixture is lighter. It can be seen that the concentration of the byproduct predicted by Visimix in this case is also much lower. Finally, by increasing the impeller rotation rate, we achieve practically complete absence of the red color. It indicates that the byproduct is practically absent. Visimix calculation results are in a good correspondence with these observations. And here are the conclusions of our experiments. The operation parameters for the production scale are predicted by Visimix according to the scale down methodology. Visimix, in combination with lab experiments using the scaled-down methodology, combines mixing physics with fundamental reaction mechanisms and can save experiment time, guide scale-up and troubleshoot limitation during the production. Macro-mixing time, reaction chemical rate and mean period of circulation can determine the optimal impeller rotation rate and the reagent feed position in the production step and to avoid lost batches and reduce the need to reproduce batches. Thank you for watching this tutorial. You're invited to see other process examples. 